Yeah. Hey, fairly enough, way. Well, looking forward to the result of the quiz. Yeah. You don't usually start a song like that, will you? Yeah. Confusing. <laughs> Flying Shack, yeah, in Gloucester. Yeah. It's a sick of gig here, and it's really nice. Like, lots of people are traveling. It's, it's a really nice, you know, familiar faces. And quite a lot of people have actually come up to me tonight and said, you know, that I'm actually looking pretty well, considering <laughs> that I'm separated. <laughs> yes, I'm separated. <laughs> yes, it's great to be alone. But when I finally get home, there's no one waiting to remind me what time it is but in the dead of the night I turn on the light and the cold empty room says it all I'm separated from you <laughs> Ready, 
It doesn't get any better than that. I remember writing these lyrics, and I remember showing them to Willie, and Willie going, oh, they're quite good. Quite good. <laughs> not, not, not quite good. Yeah, to seven best thing in 2,000 years, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> and he does take all the credit for everything that, that Willie did. I know this is one of those instances where he, he had this idea for a song. He came up to me and said, I've got this idea. Beware of the flowers, because I'm sure they're going to get you. And I went, yeah. <laughs> I've never, never got credit for that. <laughs> I, I don't mind, because I'm an enigma. We don't worry, really. <laughs> I mean, may no good it, I mean, may no good it is you want to hear it, and you, you wouldn't have cared otherwise, would you? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, there it's gone. It's one of the rare occasions that he starts with the right chord. I was, I was anticipating that. It's the second one I have the problem with. <laughs> okay, let's make this the big one for one. Conversation wouldn't be like this. Willie just suddenly turned around to me and said, um, what way, what is the worst song you've ever written? And I thought about it and I thought, oh, it's probably this one. Uh, I was inspired by Elton John. He wrote a song about the Cold War called Nikita. Can you remember it? Yeah, yeah. 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 And I had to go at writing a Cold War song and I wrote this song called Natasha, you're a smasher, but you're working for Russia. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is that song. The, the, a genius idea. Well, he didn't have many genius ideas, but this one was. He was, um, put it in the set, and it'll make all the other so songs sound really good. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work either. <laughs> well, I used to play in a lot of folk clubs years and years ago. And I, I learned then that people enjoyed getting together and singing songs. And you've seen that programme on the telly when it get you know, 30 people that can't sing. They spent six weeks with them, and they, after six weeks, they still can't sing. But, <laughs> but they're all doing it together and thinking that they've improved. Well, we do it. We do it in a matter of seconds. <laughs> we can achieve that. So, and, and the course of this is quite simple. It goes like this. Just by holding my hand, OK? That's the chorus. <laughs> do you want to try it? Yeah. One, two, three. Just by holding my hand. That's brilliant. See, I did that. <laughs> OK. Anyway, I'll cue you when to come in. And, um, you know, then we'll do the song after. <laughs> You try 
tried to get a visual sequence out of me just by holding my hand. <laughs> the world war just, just by holding my hand two three four natasha you're a smasher but you're working for russia we natasha you're a smasher but you're working for russia Just for the, uh, the track. 